Our first calculator hacks for the GCSE maths is writing a number as a product is prime factor. So on the right hand side we can see that 56 has been written down as a product of product of prime factor. Usually a non-calculator way to do the use the factor tree, but over here we're going to use the calculator in just a few seconds. We're going to work out the product of prime factor for the number 56. All you have to do is type in 56 in your calculator, press equal, press shift, and press the fact button over here just there or you can see over here and that's your fact button and that gives you the answer 2 cubed times by 7 which is the answer that we had using the factor tree so that's the first one the next hack is to get the table of values to plot your graphs so basically you're going to get the x and y coordinates so all you have to do is now enter the equation y equals x squared plus 2x plus 1 all you have to do is first of all go and select the table uh, from the menu, so the table is a uh, number three, so let's press number three. Now we're on the table mode. All we have to do is now enter the equation. So to enter the x, all you have to do is press alpha and then the close bracket button. You can see the x right on top of there. So that will give us, oops, delete that. And then let's try again, alpha and then close bracket button and enter the square Then we have plus 2 again alpha and x 2x and then plus 1 press the equal button g of x you can skip that step press go ahead and press equal the start number is minus 3 so enter minus 3 the end number is so you have to press equal to go to the end number is positive 3 and the numbers are going up in 1 so press equal and then press 1 and press equal and then press equal again and on the left hand side you have all the values for y so minus 3 is 4 then we have 1 then 0 then 1 press the down arrow button go to the other values and 1 is 4 2 is 9 and then 3 is 16 and we found this value in just a few seconds the next hack is simplifying fractions using the calculator so all you have to do is now enter the fraction using the fraction button just over there so press the fraction button so the first question we have 35 and then on the denominator we have 70 all you have to do is press equal and that gives us a half so that would be half 60 over 90 let's try another one so press the fraction button again enter 60 press the down arrow enter 90 press equal and that will give you the simplified fraction which is two-thirds the next calculator hack is converting fractions into mixed numbers so let's go ahead and turn the fraction so 55 over 3 press equals and press shift and the SD button and that will change the fraction 55 over 3 into 18 and a third let's try another one to clear the calculator memory so 29 oops first of all enter the fraction mode first so 29 down arrow button 4 press equal and then press shift and the SD button that gives us 7 and a quarter you can go ahead and press the SD button and that will change your answer into decimal and a fraction back into fraction as well the next hack is changing time into hours and minutes so if you get a decimal answer for your time on the speed distance time question then you can usually use the calculator to change it into hours and minutes or even seconds if needed so let's have a look at this question time equals distance divided by speed so we have 40 over 15 so 40 miles over 15 um, miles per hour or so on so what we have to do is divide 40 by 15 press equal and we've got the fraction and the decimal answer is 2.6 recurring all you have to do is press the degree button or the fact button here and that will change it into two hours and 40 minutes so you can go ahead and then find the time if the question asking for time dot time someone will reach a certain destination and that will be a perfect way to find the answer and a much more quicker way so next hack is the digit separator on your calculator sometimes you might get a really big number which might be hard to read or for your answer so all you have to do is press shift and go on to menu setup press the down arrow once press it again and that will come up with an option number one digit separator press one and it will give you the option to switch on the digit separator press one to switch it on now enter 
the five and a half million. So five, five, one, two, three, four, five zeros and press equal and that will separate the digits into an easy readable uh, number. So five million and five hundred thousand or five and a half million you can use commas to separate the digits as well the next hack is to write ratio in the form 1 to n so we need to express 40 to 70 in the form 1 to n first of all go to menu press number 4 which is a ratio we need to choose number 2 to write it as 1 to n so let's go ahead and choose number 2 and to 40 first press equal and you can see the 40 appearing in the ratio and the calculator display then enter 70 and then press equal and then that's one and press equal again and that will give us the value of x which is seven over four so the ratio 40 to 70 in the form of one to n is one to seven over four and if you want to change this into a decimal all you have to do is press the sd button and that will give us the answer 1.75 so the answer in decimal is one to one point seven by the way if you're finding this video helpful then please do give it a like and don't forget to leave a comment on any other hacks that you found out recently in this hack i'm going to show you how to store numbers in the calculator memory just be careful when you go to your exam please do make sure you clear your memory of the calculator and i will show you how to do this right at the end so let's say for example you want to save cos 45 so let's press cos and then value 45 press equal you want to save square root of 2 over 2 in the calculator memory all you have to do is then press the do button and you'll see a small icon appear right at the top of the calculator display on right on top of cos all you have to do is if you want to save that as a letter on your calculator memory so press a so the answer will be saved as a now if you want to recall this number again so all you have to do is press shift and then recall button right above the seven and that will show you the number a now you can use this a as any calculation so if i go back and if i say i want to times 50 by uh, the a so all i have to do is press alpha and a and press equal and that will give me the answer which is 25 root 2. The next hack is to how to clear the memory now that we stored on our calculator so what you have to do is press the shift and the 9 we can see reset right on top of it we want to change clear the memory so we're going to press 2 press equal and then press the AC button to confirm that now if you go back to the memory recall press shift and the recall you can see that A value that we stored before has been cleared and the final hack of this video is to how to clear the calculator settings so what we will do is press shift press 9 and then we're going to press number 3 press equal and then press ac and that will reset the whole calculator i hope this video helps you and don't forget to give it a like if you found it useful and also don't forget to share with your friends so that they can benefit from it as well and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.